What is up guys, hope you're all good. I'm going to try and keep this video to like two or three minutes because it's only a bit of a follow-on from the video I did yesterday about reversing the samples. I said yesterday that I didn't know how to do it in quick sampler even after I tried all the buttons, but Fumes the Threat, he said, you know, you've got to use the actual the multi-sampler, the big sampler. So shout out to him for this. It does take a bit more time, but I mean, that's why the other one's called quick sampler because it's quicker. When you're in the sampler, you can just, you know, open it by going down here. It's under retro center. It'll come like this and what you want to do is just turn mapping and zone on and get rid of all of these so you've only got these two things here and what this does this one down here is drag the audio file in you chop it up and then here you can map it to each one of the keys like each key you want so it's obviously a bit more complex so I'll use the same sample as I did yesterday see how it's assigned the sample to C1 so if we play that on the like that so what we want to do is then we're just gonna to want to chop it up Now you can notice that now, because they're both mapped to the same key, they're playing at exactly the same time. So what we've got to do is click this one and just drag it over to let the next key you want or something. So I'm just going to do this for each part. Obviously you can play them in an order, like a DSS day, so... Can play it in reverse here i was looking in the wrong plugin this is the actual way to do it so if you're wondering before don't watch my last video watch this one because this is the right one to watch so you can forget about the other one so say you wanted to reverse this one you just really easy click reverse here and then you can see the playhead it plays it backwards so That's just a really easy way to kind of add a bit of a switch up textures and I did say I'd keep you updated if I found out any new ways. But shout out again to Fumes the Threat, first of all for asking the question and then second of all for telling me kind of the basics of how to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Okay.